Let's look at an example to make these two concepts of sensitivity and specificity more concrete. For patients with radicular pain from the lumbosacral area, two commonly used tests to in or exclude this condition are the straight leg raise test and the cross straight leg raise test. According to a review, the SLR has a sensitivity of 92% and a specificity of 28% and the crossed SLR has a sensitivity of 28% and a specificity of 90%. So which test are you going to use to exclude radicular pain from the lumbosacral region? The answer is the straight leg raise test. Remember our mnemonic snout. We are performing a highly sensitive test in order to look for a negative test outcome to rule out a disease. If this test is negative, we can be pretty sure that our patient does not have lumbosacral radicular pain. To confirm our hypothesis, however, we are using the spin rule. So we are going to do the cross straight leg raise test with a high specificity.